What's up, y'all? Aaron here with Yoga Veda. Macy. Heck yeah. And uh, super stoked to do some yoga with y'all today. We got like uh, like an hour long class plan. Pretty fun, pretty challenging, decently sweaty, some core work, some good stuff. So yeah, stoked you're here. Grab a brick if you got it, sit on it, right? Loop the shoulders, stack the spine, wiggle around, find mm -hmm. that comfortable seat. We'll just breathe for a moment here, right? Softly close the eyes, maybe a little smile spread across the face. Take a nice big inhale, fill it up through the nose. Side out the mouth. Let's feel more like that on your own, filling up through the nose. Letting go out the mouth. The last one, filling it up. Letting it go. On the tongue along the top and bottom edge of the gums, swallow that saliva, seal your lips. Ujjayi Pranayam, in and out the nose, exploring the constriction of the throat here, letting that constriction build heat and build sound, the heat to cleanse the body, the sound to focus the mind, knowing that a big part of this practice is not only right, lengthening, strengthening the muscles, reducing the strain and the pain in the body, but Focusing the mind, right? having the tools at your disposal by practicing them here on the mat so that when the world is stressful and life is difficult, you can utilize your breath, your gaze, and your own body to bring yourself back to a calm state, just another moment in stillness. Next inhale comes, just let the eyes blink a couple times. All fours, y'all, hands beneath shoulders, knees beneath hips. Spread those fingers nice and wide. As you inhale, pull your chest forward, tone your back body, arch the spine, look up. And as you exhale, pull the belly and tone the front body, push the earth away and round the spine. Just move like that, my friends. Inhale is an arch and toning of the back body. Exhale is a round and a toning of the front body. Linking breath, linking motion together. Continue like so. Just a couple more rounds. Add organic motions as it serves you, right? Maybe some circles through the hips, maybe some rolls through those shoulder joints, playful with the neck, playful with the jaw. On your own, and as it comes, my friends, one more nice big inhale. One more smooth, long exhale. And inhale, let's come to a neutral spine here. Tone the low belly, push down through the palms, push down through the knees, navel hits the spine. And as you inhale, I want you to kick that left heel as high as you can. And as you exhale, swing that left knee out to the left, right? Bringing that thigh theoretically parallel to the earth, and then extend the left leg to the left, pull the belly in, and try to bring the hips square to the ground, and then lift the pinky toe side edge of your left foot higher, take one more nice big inhale, and as you exhale, bend the left knee, draw the knee to your left elbow, and then circle around, and place that left knee on the ground, do the same thing with the right leg now, pull the belly in, push through the palms, kick that right heel as high as you can, Keep the hips square. Swing that right knee out as far to the right as you can. Keep those hips square. Extend the right leg to the right. Maybe even look at the foot. Can you draw a straight line from hip to ankle? Pull the belly in. Lift the leg a little higher. Another big inhale. Exhale. Pull the right knee to the right elbow. And then swing that right knee back down to earth. That was so fun. We'll do it once more each side. Inhale. Kick that left heel high. Exhale, bring it out to the left. Pull the belly in, extend the left leg out. Try to reach through the pinky toe to the ceiling. Take a big inhale. Exhale, draws knee to elbow and then knee back down to earth. Easy side, right side, kick the ceiling first. Swing the leg out to the right. Extend the leg out. Use the outer glutes to lift that right leg higher. Inhale. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. 
and then swing it back down to the ground. On all fours, just circle the hips clockwise. Circle the hips counterclockwise. Walk those hands forward, a partial handprint. Tuck the toes, lift the knees. It's a dog pose. Paddle the heels up. Wiggle the hips up. Shake the head, yes and no. I'll encourage you to take these next four or five breaths just to explore in a round dog pose, right? So bend the knees, maybe roll forward from plank and back to dog, or drift your hips and heels from right to left a couple times. About two more breaths here, and if stillness serves you, by all means, you're welcome to find that at any point in time. One more inhale, one more exhale. Bend the knees to look forward as you inhale. As you exhale, just travel your feet to the top of the mat. Take a nice half lift, long spine, inhale. Exhale, folds you in. Just take the breath skyward, inhale, rise up, reach up, the arms extend to seal. Exhale, your hands just touch your side body. We'll have the feet hip width. We'll move through just a couple moon salutations here, right? So inhale, breath to motion, bend the knees, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Take a half lift, inhaling long spine. Exhale, just step your left foot back and drop your left knee to the ground. And as you inhale, take a low lunge, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, your palms hit the earth. Plank posture, inhale. You choose knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, the exhale. Cobra or up dog as you inhale. Exhale, hips hit the sky. Take an inhale, just holding dog pose. And as you exhale, tone the belly and step your left foot between your hands. Dropping the right knee as you inhale, reach the arms up for a lunge. Exhale, hands hit the earth. Step to the top of the mat with your inhale. Exhale as a forward fold. Bend the knees back to chair pose, inhale. And exhale, just stand up, release those arms. It's back to chair pose, inhale. Exhale as a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lifting. Exhale, right foot steps back, you drop knee, sweep the arms up, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands to earth, plank posture, inhale. You choose how you lower on exhale. Cobra, up dog, your inhalation. Exhale, your hips hit the sky. Take the inhale here in dog and then tone the belly. Exhale, the right foot steps forward, the left knee falls down. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, hands touch down. Inhale, step to top of mat. Exhale, folds you in. Bend your knees back into chair. Inhale. Exhale, stand tall. One more full round like that. The heat building. Inhale is chair. Exhale is full. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Step the left foot back. Two options. Drop the knee or do not. Inhale is a lunge. Either way. Exhale, hands to earth. Plank posture. Inhale. Exhale, you lower. Up dog. Inhale. Exhale, down dog, take a big inhale. As you exhale, the left foot steps forward. You either keep the back knee lifted or drop it. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to earth. Step up, inhale. Fold in, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Stand up, exhale. Second half, inhale is check, exhale is fold, inhale is length, exhale right foot steps, remember you choose high or low lunge, inhale reach up, exhale hands down, plank posture, inhale, exhale chaturanga, up dog, inhale. 
Exhale, down dog. Take the inhale for free. Exhale, the right foot steps forward. You choose your lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, plant your palms. Step forward, inhale. Exhale, you fold. Bend the knees, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, stand tall, close the eyes for a moment. Shake out the legs a little bit, loop the shoulders. And then find some stillness, right? Feet hip width, the toes spread out. Lift the arches of the feet, pull the belly in. Let the weight fall evenly around your foundation, the soles of your feet. Feel the heart rate. Slow it down, controlling your breath. Bring your mind presence. Control the nervous system. Just one more breath here. I right, see all those eyes blink open. Again, the feet are going to be hips width. And do some sun B pluses, continuing to stoke that internal fire here. The feet hips width, right? Bend the knees, arms frame the ears, it's chair pose. As you exhale, round your spine, arms frame ears, but pinkies touch her. Inhale, right back to chair pose. Exhale, just sit a little deeper in that chair. Inhale, reach through the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lifting. Exhale, plant those palms. Step or float, chaturanga, you lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's go right leg to sky. Inhale. Exhale, step behind your right wrist. It's warrior one. Back heel 45. Reach up. Inhale. Exhale, bring your right knuckles to your sacrum. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, round your spine. Left arm frames ear and the pinky touches earth. Inhale, rise on straight legs. Exhale, bend your right knee deeply. Inhale, two arms, reach up, reach back. Exhale, hands to earth. Hold plank on the inhale. Let's float the right leg. Exhale, chaturanga. Two feet up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg to sky, inhale. Exhale, step behind your left wrist, back heel 45. Inhale, reach up, warrior one. Exhale, left knuckle, sacrum. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, round the spine till right pinky touches her. Inhale, rise on straight legs. Exhale, bends the left knee. Inhale, two arms, reach up. Exhale, hands to earth. You hold plank, inhaling. Let's float that left leg. Exhale, shut it down. Two feet up, dog. Exhale, hips to sky. Spread the fingers. You look back, you spread the toes. Pull the low ribs into the torso. And think about lengthening out the line from wrist creases to hips. And from hips to heels, breathing length into the body here, growing the space between each vertebrae as you lift those quadriceps and press the thigh bones towards the wall behind you. One more inhale. One more exhale. The knees bend as you look forward. Exhale, top of mat. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold, the feet, hips width, bend the knees, chair pose, exhale, round the spine, pinkies touch her, pull the belly, inhale, back to chair, exhale, just sit a little deeper, push down through those heels, and inhale, stand up, slow motion, arms to side, body Two breaths here again, feeling that heat rising, slowing the heart rate by controlling the breath. One more inhale. One more exhale. 
That was so good, we should totally do it again. Inhale, let's go back to chair pose, arms frame the ears. A little better this time, yes, exhale, round the spine, pinkies to earth. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, drop the butt a little lower. Inhale, reach through the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lifting. Exhale, plant the palms, step, float, chaturanga. You move, my friends, open heart. Inhale, exhale, hips to sky. Right leg high, inhale. Exhale, step, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right knuckle, sacrum. Inhale, straight leg, square hips. Exhale, navel to spine, left pinky to earth, but arm frames the ear. Inhale, you rise. Exhale, bends right knee. Inhale, two arms, you reach up. Exhale, chaturanga, you choose how you move here, lower. Inhale, open heart. Exhale, hips to sky. Left leg high, inhale. Exhale, you step, warrior one. Inhalation to rise. Exhale, left knuckle sacrum. Inhale, straight legs, square hips. Exhale, rounds the spine, pinky to earth. Inhale, you rise. Exhale, bends front knee. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, chaturanga. Move with the breath, the heart pulls forward. Inhale. Exhale, hips to sky. Again, three breaths. Spread those fingers, spread those toes. Think about stretching this webbing between your fingers here and wrapping those shoulder blades as wide as you can. Your upper back spreading. One more inhale. One more exhale. Bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, top of mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Deep fold, exhale. Back to chair pose, inhale. Exhale, just stand up, release those arms. Nicely done, y'all. We'll have the feet hips width apart. Put a little bend in the knees, even if your hamstrings are pretty open. Then just pitch forward from the hips, wrap your peace fingers around your big toes. And with that grip and a little bend in the knees, pull up on your big toes, pull the shoulders down the back body and reach your crown forward. Think about lengthening your spine with that inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows to the sides and pull your torso to nestle your ribs into your inner thigh bones. Keep that nestled connection. And then slowly, you might work the legs a little straighter. Pull the shoulders up and away from the ears. Your neck is still long. Breathe into low back. Breathe into hamstrings. Take the exhales deeper. One more inhale. One more exhale. Fingertips to earth or shins, half lift, inhale, reach the crown forward. Exhale, place those left fingertips right beneath your face, the left knee bent, the right leg straight. Take your right arm to the sky. Tuck the tail under, pull the belly in, reach that right arm higher, look for your right thumb with your left eye, and push through the inner edge of that left foot. Take one more nice big inhale, strong through the right leg. Exhale, right fingertips replace the left as the right knee bends, the left leg straightens. You take that left arm skyward. Again, can you see that top thumb in your bottom eye? Pull the belly in, push through the inner edge of the right foot, roll the tailbone under, and see if you can smile at that thumb. Getting longer through the wingspan, one more big inhalation. Exhale, two hands touch earth. Take another half lift, inhale, long in the spine. Exhale, plant those palms, step or float, feet back, you move through, chaturanga. Upward facing guard. 
downward facing dog. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Right leg goes to sky on the inhale. Turn your toes towards the right with that top leg and then lift your right foot higher. Feel your outer right glutes work as you drive your left heel down and lift your right foot. Notice if your, one of your hands is getting lighter. Push equal weight through those palms. Take one more big inhale. Try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, huge step, right foot between your hands. Warrior two here, windmilling open. Right heel intersecting that left arch. Scoop the right tailbone under as you drill the right heel in. Pull the belly back. And then see if you can search for something closer to 90 degrees in that right knee. And then try not to lean over the right thigh. Look for 90 degrees from the right thigh to the right side of the torso. And then from the right torso to the bottom edge of that right arm. Strong, active legs. Soft shoulders and jaw. Stare at that right middle finger. Focus the mind. Two here. One more inhale. Exhale, I want you to bend that right knee deeper, and as you inhale, reverse the warrior. Look up at your right palm, and as you do so, try to reach the ceiling. Don't think about the back bend. Think about lifting your right rib cage out of your right hip bone. And as you do so, dig in with the right heel. Bend into that right knee. One more nice big inhale, reaching. And then exhale, flip the right fingers back towards your face. And take that flipped right wrist, that right hand pointing backwards, planted inside the right ankle, and look up at that left arm. Smile at the left thumb. Spin your left palm to face the front of your mat, and then extend your side angle here, breathing long into that right side body, leaning your right shoulder on your inner right thigh. Take another moment here, my friends. One more nice big inhale. Exhale, look down. One inhale, reverse warrior again. And then exhale, hands to earth. Chaturanga, move through those classics with breath. You lower. Open heart, inhalation. Exhale, downward facing dog. Spread the toes and the fingers. Knit the ribs in. With the heavy right heel, lift the left leg. Spin the left toes to point to the left side. And then use the outer left glutes to lift that left foot higher. Imagine right heel on ground, and if it touches, pull the right toes off the earth. Even out the weight in the hands as you breathe here. One more nice big inhale. Exhale, huge step. Left foot between hands. Warrior two, windmill it open. Again. Adjust the feet, left heel, right arch. Again, inhale, pulls the heels towards each other. Exhale, you sink in. Navel to spine. 90 degree angles where you can find them, my friends, because they are structurally sound. That's why they, you see them all around you in the building that you're in right now. Commit to the depth and the strength in the legs. Soften the jaw and the shoulders. Take two more. Find effort here. One more inhale. Exhale, that left heel stays heavy. Flip the left palm. Reverse the warrior. Again, think about lifting up out of the left hip crease. More so than back bending. Tone these low ribs, but reach through that top arm. Take one more. Nice, big inhale, and exhale, flip that left wrist backwards, plant the flipped hand inside the left ankle, look for the right hand, spin palm for the front of your mat, and then reach for the front of your mat. Your right leg is active, your left heel is heavy, you're growing the line from right heel to right fingertips. Two more breaths. One more big inhale. Exhale as you look down. One more inhale. Reverse the warrior. Reach up. 
Exhale, cartwheel for earth. Chaturanga, my friends, mm -hmm. through the classics, you lower. Open heart, inhale. Exhale, hips hit the sky. Pedal the heels, wiggle the hips. Shake the head, yes and no. And then just check in. Hopefully we're feeling a little warmer, but also hopefully feeling a little more spacious in the body. Maybe a little less active in the mind. One more inhale. One more exhale. The knees bend as you bring the gaze forward. As you exhale, travel to the top of the mat. A nice half lift, that's your inhale. Exhale, folds you in. Inhale to sky, just like sun A, rise up, reach out. Exhale, the arms release to side body. Looking down at the feet, we'll have them hips width for this one. Right, a little balance, a little strength, a little flexibility, all with breath here, my friends. So, the feet or the toes spread out, the feet hip width. Put just a micro bend in the knees. You can even take your hands to your hips for now and feel the symmetry in the pelvis as you lift your heels. Cut the hip creases deep and start to come into chair pose on your tippy toes. Pull the belly in here. Reach these arms straight forward now and attempt to stay high up on the tippy toes as you bring your thighs parallel to earth and your spine perpendicular. You should feel your quadriceps work here. Take a nice big inhale, holding that shape. And as you exhale slowly, Bring your hips to your heels as your thumbs hit heart center. Take a moment here in balance, my friends. Fix your gaze on one spot on the earth in front of you, a spot that will not move, and use that. Use that as a tool for balance, either staying in stillness or dropping that right knee to the mat with control. Pulling the right knee right back up will follow suit with the left. And then the left will rise just once more like this. We'll do two knees together to earth. Then they come back up. Now pause in here. Stay in stillness. Pull the navel to the spine. You can even feel the hips for symmetry once more. Now challenge yourself and your balance by shifting the gaze. Glue it at that one spot. But take your right hand and seal over your right eye so you only see with the left. Take a breath. Nice, put that right hand down, covering the left eye, take a breath. Now take a breath with both eyes open and challenge yourself here. Know if you fall, it's like an inch to your butt. Take two hands and cover both eyes for two breaths. One more inhale. Exhale, the eyes come back open. You're going to roll down to the heels and then drop right onto your butt. If you have a brick or something similar near your mat, go ahead and grab it now. If you don't, no worries. I'll do it without the brick just in case some of y'all don't have them. Macy will here, he'll do it with the brick. If you don't have a brick, take your hands and just push them into your left thigh. If you do have a brick, Put the brick on the left thigh and drive the left elbow into it. Now from here, find a boat pose. Extend the right leg long and roll back until your low spine is on the earth, but your shoulder blades are lifted. Squeeze the right leg strong. Push your left thigh into your hands and your hands back into your thigh. Or if you've got the brick, it's left elbow driving into that brick and the brick driving back into the elbow. Breathing here, just two more. One more inhale. Now if you got the brick, switch it to right elbow to the brick. If you don't have a brick, your right forearm presses into your left thigh. Your left hand holds your belly button and you turn your belly button to the left as you squeeze the navel to spine on the exhales. How much can you twist? How much can you press the right side of the body into the left side of the body via that brick or via forearm and thigh? Two more breaths. 
One more inhale. As you exhale, just bend the right knee and lift back up to your little boat. Really nicely done, y'all. Easy side, yeah? So either hands to the right thigh or it's left elbow on that brick, right? Now from the little boat pose, pushing into the right thigh with your hands or with the brick, the left leg goes straight, the low back goes to earth, the shoulder blades are lifted this whole time. Squeeze the leg muscles, it'll make your legs lighter. Breathe here. Add the twist, it's either left elbow to brick, left forearm to thigh, right hand on the belly. Can we keep that right shoulder blade lifted? Can we twist the spine more? Two more breaths. One more in it. Exhale, push into back, back to that boat pose. Nicely done, y'all. You should feel a little fire in that low belly. Bring the big toes to touch. Rock and roll the length of the spine. And we're going to come up to a little baby squat. Use that momentum and roll right up onto your feet. And then from the feet to the tippy toes. Finding yourself here. Same stance we just had, but now your feet, your big toes are sealed together. Find that little point you stared at earlier. The challenge is on the tippy toes all the way up to standing. Exhale, navel to spine. Use the core strength. Inhale, stand up on your tippy toes all the way. Reach up. Exhale, drop the heels in forward. Fold. Have a spell over. Inhale, halfway lift. Long spine. Just like Sun A, exhale, plant the palms, step, float, chaturanga, you move, my friends. Feel free to pause in up dog to stretch the core workout. Strong legs, pull the chest forward, and only when you are ready, join your friends back in downward facing dog again. Paddle the heels, wiggle the hips, shake it out, one more inhale. One more, exhale. Nice, let's go right leg to sky, inhale. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Warrior two again, windmilling open. You were here before, so you go right to where you left off and then you see if you can drift a little deeper. Stronger in the legs, more tone in the low belly, and even more intensity in the gaze. More presence in the mind. One more inhale. One more exhale. Reverse warrior inhale. Let's go for that half bind. Either take the left hand just around the low back, or maybe crawl that left hand all the way into the inner right thigh. Still look at that right hand. Dig your right heel in. Bend the right knee. Reach up to the ceiling. One more big inhale. And then flip the wrist again. Bring that right hand inside the right ankle. Keep the half bind if it serves you. Just make sure you can still see the ceiling. And if the full bind is in the cards for you today, you can wrap the right arm underneath that right leg and search for your left hand or your left wrist. Lean back. Imagine there's a pillow behind you. Drill the left heel in. Use your left hamstrings. Smiling to the ceiling. One more inhale. One more exhale. Release the binds for straight legs on your inhale. Lift your right toes. Turn towards the back of the mat. Setting up triangle on the left side, right? Lift the musculature of the legs, but don't lock your left knee. Cut that hip bone deep. Reach through the left arm, hand over the foot. And exhale, hand to shin, earth or brick. The right thumb is above the face as you smile to the sky. Breathe here. Pull your heels towards each other. Squeeze your legs actively. Don't just let the torso rest on the lower body. Have the lower body lift the torso up. Take one more nice big inhale here. Exhale, look down. Take your left hand off of everything. With core and leg strength, inhale, rise up. And then cartwheel to the top of your mat for Chaturanga. Inhale, pulls the heart through when it comes. Exhale, brings your hips to the sky. Take a free breath. Inhale. 
Exhale, let it go. Seal the lips back up. Left leg high, inhale. Exhale is for a step to warrior two. Windmill it open. Again, because we've been here already, we search to go further, deeper, and with more intensity than we did the first time. Eyes to left middle finger, outer left glutes working, take an inhale. Exhale, commit to that front heel. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Right arm can wrap around the back to grab that inner right, left thigh. Commit to your heavy front heel, tone the belly, and smile up at that left palm. Take one more. Nice, big inhale, reaching. And exhale, flip that left wrist, plant it inside the left ankle. Stay here, half bound. Feel free to release the bind entirely. Or if you did so first side, you're welcome to explore the full bind. Maybe fingertips, maybe you catch your own wrist, but dig in with the left heel. Search for 90 there and then lean on the left thigh. And look to the ceiling, two more. One more inhale. Exhale, look down the belly tones. Inhale, straighten your legs. Lift the left toes. Turn towards the back of the mat. Spin the right toes. Finding your triangle, lift the quadriceps. Cut the right hip deep. Reach with the right arm. And then hand to shin. Earth, maybe a brick even. Look up. See your left thumb. Drag your feet towards each other. Strong actions in the lower body. Your foundation, your legs, your feet, they support what happens from the torso up. One more nice big inhale. Exhale, look down, take the right hand off everything. Use your legs, inhale, rise. Heart wheel, top of mat, chaturanga, you flow. Open heart on inhalation. Exhale, the hips hit the sky. For three. For two. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale. Let's bend the knees and look forward. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Half lifting with an inhalation. Folding in on the exhalation. Fingertips on the earth. To heel your feet out to the width of your mat. Heels in slightly, toes out slightly. Your pinky toes might even come off of your sticky mat. And then from here, start to drop your butt down. Don't drop your butt all the way down until your legs relax. Lift your butt a little bit higher above the base of your full squat. Then bring your thumbs to heart center. Loop the shoulders up, back and down. Find malasana here. Drive through the heels. Squeeze the glutes. Interlace your fingers. Spin your palms forward. And then take your arms and frame your ears. Try to find a back bend here. Try to reach your butt down and back. And lift and reach your lungs forward. Breathe one more nice big inhale. And as you exhale, plant the palms and just step your left foot to the back of the mat. Adjust the right foot forward and the left toes back till you're in a long runner's lunge. Hands inside that right foot. Drive your right thigh into your right shoulder. Press your left heel, the inner edge of it towards the wall behind you. And then try to pull your hands backwards like you would in up dog and pull the chest forward here without losing the strength in your legs. Breathing into this one more nice big inhale. Exhale, we'll soften that left knee down. Untuck the left toes, still driving your right thigh into your own right shoulder. Option to walk the hands forward and potentially bend the elbows to rest forearms on bricks or maybe even the earth itself. But still think, right knee. Driving into outer right shoulder, belly, navel, pulling to spine. 
And the right heel dragging backwards. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, you're back on your palms. Turn your right foot out to the right at 45 degrees, my friends. Take your left hand off mat at 45. The eye, the crease of this left elbow points forward. Your lungs reach forward. Your right arm reaches back. You stay here or use your hamstrings. Bend your left knee, but don't catch the foot. Just try to bring this heel to its own glute using the hamstring muscle. Option to even try to push your heel away with the left hand and drive in to your fingertips with that left heel. Breathe here, one more nice big inhale, then catch the foot. Kick into the hands, spread the sternum wide. And if it serves you to pull it till hip and heel join, you can take it to that space. Two more breaths, smart choices here. One more nice big inhale. Exhale, let that foot go. Toe heel your right foot to the center of your right hip. It's a half split. Of course, you could put bricks beneath the hands. Lift your right quadriceps. Drag your right hip crease deeper. Inhale, long spine. Maybe left hand checks the pelvis for a second. Exhale, drape the torso. Drop the head heavy. And if you really want to challenge yourself here, because your mind is having a hard time staying present, then take your hands off the earth and catch opposite elbows behind the back. Right? But if the mind is fully occupied with hands on the ground, just keep them there and breathe two more. One more inhale, shake the head yes and no. One more exhale. Let's just lift the gaze on the inhale here. And as you exhale, bend into that right knee, toe heel the right foot out, back to the outer right corner of the mat. Plant those palms, tuck the left toes. You're stepping right back to that squat that we came from, left foot up, and then drop the butt almost to its full depth. Interlace those fingers, spin the palms away. Reach out through those hands. Think arch of the spine and nice, big inhale. Exhale, hands back down, right foot steps back. Shuffle and adjust your stance here. A classic runner's lunge. Think 90 degrees in the left knee joint. Think reaching back like that right leg is in plank. It's so strong. Drive your left thigh into your right shoulder. And then with the leg set in stone, lift the gaze and drag your lungs forward. Like without moving the legs, you could find a back bend here, pulling your sternum to the front of your mat. Take one more nice big inhale, really strong in that right leg. And then exhale, now the right knee softens down. The right toes untuck, the left leg stays very strong still. You can stay right here on your hands, or you can crawl those hands forward and attempt to drop down forearms to brick or earth. You'll notice your left knee immediately wants to drift away from your left shoulder. Push the inner edge of your left foot down and drive your left thigh into your left shoulder as you breathe here. Two more. One more inhale. One more exhale. As you slide back up to the palms, now it's your front foot, right? Your left foot turns out 45 degrees to the left. Your right hand goes off 45 degrees to the right. From here, we'll reach back, right? Open the lungs, expand the sternum, feel the fingertips reaching back, and then maybe bend the right knee. And remember, at first, I want you to feel those right hamstrings work. So if you want to, you can go back with the left hand and push your right heel away from its own glute as the strength of your right hamstrings drives your heel towards its own glute. It should be annoyingly effortful. Enjoy that. One more nice big inhale. 
And then if you want, catch pinky toe side edge of that right foot with the left hand. Kick into the hand, spread the sternum more. Enjoy this action. And if you sealed hip and heel together first side, it's there for you again. Close the gap in the knee joint. We have two more breaths. You make a smart choice. One more nice big inhale. And then let it go on the exhale. Find your half splits. Toe heel that left foot into the center of the left hip. Straighten the leg out. Lift the left quadriceps. Before you fold in, take your right hand to the sacrum. Search for symmetry in those two little bumps in the back of the pelvis. And when you find that as best you can muster, lengthen the spine, inhale. And then drape the torso in exhaling. Again, hands on earth is a nice place to be, but if it's hard for your mind to be present there, then take the balance, right? Interlace or grab opposite elbows behind the back and then bring that little element of danger into the equation so that you stay present or just keep the hands down. A couple more breaths, shaking the head, yes and no maybe, releasing the neck. One more inhale, one more exhale. Nicely done, y'all. All fours here. Circle the hips around clockwise. Circle the hips around counterclockwise. Spread the fingers, tuck the toes. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Pedal, pedal, wiggle, wiggle. Shake, shake, shimmy, shimmy, and then take three big breaths in stillness. Cast weight forward to where your fingers meet your palms so your wrists are right. Cast weight backwards by lifting the quadriceps so your spine elongates. Pull those low ribs in and take another moment here. Full sail energy in this dog pose. Now lift the gaze and exhale, draw your right knee to your right elbow. And bring your toes to your left elbow and then lay your right chin down behind your wrists. Wiggle those left toes back as far as they go. The right chin goes as close to parallel as serves you. What I want you to do here is come up to your fingertips, press your right chin down till your outer right butt works and then tone the low back muscles and then lift your chest up and if you need some support with the hands they can go on the right thigh and the right foot but if we can go no hands we're searching for that and hold on to the hips if you can here my friends level the pelvis and see how far you can hinge forward without the low back rounding here lean into that find that space and then hold there with maybe subtle support from the fingers. But if we can, those hands just hold the hips for feedback and you lean forward, lungs forward, active in this pigeon pose, like you're the, whatever they call that thing on a bow of a ship. That's you right now. You're like this glorious merwoman man thing. Enjoy it. Two more breaths. One more nice big inhale. And now see how little support you need from the hands as you bring yourself all the way down to depth of what you would do naturally in your pigeon. Maybe forehead to mat or forehead to fists or bricks. You can always take a hand to feel the low back and search for symmetry in the pelvis. Two more breaths here, still. Pressing the right chin down, still active in the outer right glutes. One more inhale. One more exhale. Listen close, my friends. Start to lift the torso up. Bring your fingertips to the earth. And as soon as you can, I want your back to lift you up. So fingertips light, light, light. You lift up. You find this back bend again. Open the sternum. And then your hands touch down. It's downward facing dog. Lift the musculature of the legs. Your right hip should feel different than your left. 
If it does, smile to yourself. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, look forward and draw left knee to left elbow. Hold it and pull the toes to the right elbow. Try to touch both at once. See if you can. And then left shin goes down. Close to parallel to front edge of mat. Again, remember, we're making this really active pigeon shape today. Wiggle those right toes back. Then come to fingertips. Drive the left shin down. Squeeze the outer left glute strong. We're either bringing hands to hips to level out, or we're just using as little support as we can muster from those arms. Inhale here. Lift the sternum. Feel the support of your pelvis the stability and lean forward as much as you can with no hands or just with subtle hands. Take three breaths here. Drive that outer left pinky toe into earth. Left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. Your back body is working. One more nice big inhalation. Keep the legs active. As little support as you can muster. Bring your torso forward and down. Maybe forehead to earth, maybe not. Keep your outer left glutes online. You want to stabilize your pelvis even as you open your outer hip here. Hmm. Exhales to on the belly. We just take two more here together. One more inhale, exhale in the stillness, and then start to lift the gaze up. Remember, come to your fingertips right here, and then try to get those fingertips as light as you can, arching the spine up, lifting the sternum, eventually reaching those arms back, feeling this tone in the back body, lift the chest, and then exhale, plant the palms, step it back. Downward facing dog. This is the last one of class. Spread the fingers, spread the toes. Turn the creases or the eyes of your elbows forward. Lift the musculature of your quadriceps. Pull your low ribs in and think longer. Think stronger and breathe it into reality. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, bends the knees. You look forward however you'd like. Land on your butt at the top of the mat. I'm just going to slide on forward. And once you're at the top of the mat on your butt, take a nice big inhale. Grab those shin bones. Exhale. Roll on back. All right. Circle the sacrum clockwise. Counterclockwise. Massage the low back out here for a moment. And then we'll just, you know, dealer's choice for the supine twist. I'm just going to take the classic. Big toes together. Bump your hips an inch or two to the right. Pull your knees up. And then drop your knees off to the left. And if a different variation of this twist really makes you smile, your prerogative. Reach over the right shoulder with the right arm. Turn the chin that direction. Pull the belly in. And with each inhale, think about lengthening the spine, the right hip moving away from the right rib cage. Each exhale, pulling the belly in and wringing the guts out. Just one more here. Roll back onto your back with your inhale. And again, right feet together, shuffle your hips a couple inches over to the left. Pull your knees up towards your sternum, and then drop them off to the right. From here, as you're looking over that left shoulder, you're reaching with the left arm. You might even take your right hand and push that right hip bone away from the right rib cage slightly. Inhales, thinking about the length in the spine. Exhales, pulling the belly in, bringing out the organs. One more full one. Nicely done, y'all. Roll back onto the back body whenever your inhale comes about. 
and then from here, all right, just take a moment, pull the knees up to the chest, wrap your arms around, pull tight like a little ball, you can catch opposite elbows, forehead hits the knees, take a nice big inhale, fill to the brim, hold tight for a moment, and when you're ready, exhale out the mouth to let the legs lengthen out. <laughs> Wiggle, wiggle, shimmy, shimmy, take your time here, right? Any little actions required to find comfort in stillness? You got some props by you you want to use, utilize them. Eventually, we will take the classical shape. Palms turned to ceiling, feet flopped open. However long it takes you to find comfort, eventually you find it. You take a moment, you let control of breath and body go. You embrace these conscious moments with nothing to do, nowhere to be. Simply breathing, simply being. Just resting in the echoes of your efforts. energy, the residue, the prana, whatever you'd like to call it, letting it gently drift you off. Slowly beginning to deepen the breath. Rustle the edges of the body, the toes, the fingers. Roll the wrists, the ankles as you move your hands and your feet. And eventually, let an inhale reach those arms overhead. A good morning stretch. And pull the knees up and gently roll off onto your favorite side. Catch a heartbeat. A moment, just let go there again. Gravity pulls you back. Then in your own time, eyes down, cast your clothes, top hand pushes down. And you're going to come up to a seat like you started kneeling. Cross-legged, whatever works best for you here once more. Stack the spine up. Loop the shoulders. Close the eyes. Soak in that little internal after picture as you run the mind through the body. Thumbs pull to heart center, chin falls to chest. Gratitude for the practice, opportunity to practice. Those around you in the world, creating, sharing, exploring together. Thumb pads tap, third eye, and you bow. Namaste. Right, on y'all, thank you so much for your time, for your efforts today. Super awesome work. I know I feel better. Mm -hmm. I hope that you feel better. And, um, you know, great job, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enjoy yourself today. I'll see you soon.